Boy, are we in a jam. Businesses are closing, the deficit is rising, and long-term unemployment is making people desperate. Time to make Financial Meltdown Rhubarb Jam. This is rhubarb, and you want to select the reddest stalks, which will be the sweetest. Now this rhubarb is green at the top, and that's not as sweet as red, so look out for another downgrade by the S&P. Now you'll also notice that there are no leaves on the rhubarb, except for this one. But don't eat the leaves, because if you do, you'll die. They're poisonous, and then you won't be around for the downgrade of the dollar. After you wash it off in sewage recycled water that has too much fluoride, cut off the green tops and bundle them as CDOs for the compost pile. Then chop up the rhubarb into quarter bits. I like to measure how much I have because it makes me feel secure, like I have a future. Yes, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I do know I'm too old to be a Navy SEAL or a prostitute. Now, add the sugar, which is half the amount of rhubarb. So say you had six cups rhubarb, then you'd add three cups sugar. Or you could add six cups sugar if you wanted to put someone in a diabetic coma. Then stir and put a lid on it and let it stand on the counter overnight. And the next day, if you don't feel like cooking, just throw it in the fridge. It looks like this afterwards, juicy. Stir it up a little, then put it in a big pot, bring to a boil, reduce the heat, chop up the big bits, and stir and stir and stir until it thickens. Then turn off the heat and allow it to cool on the stove top, and it'll get even thicker. When it's cooled, it's ready to be put in jars. I use jars like these that have seals. They come from China. You know, that place where the disappearing middle class went to? Then I just stick them in the fridge and give them out to friends and neighbors. This way they'll know who I am and help me out in a natural disaster. Cause we all know 911 will be busy and FEMA's broke. I like to eat my rhubarb jam with Greek yogurt. It's not because I'm overeducated and underemployed like I heard on NPR. It's because Greece was the first democracy and one of the first to go belly up. You can also serve it on what we are now.